Exploring the Ancient Mysteries of Pompeii A Journey Through Time and Tragedy Okay, it's day two, and we're in Napoli, or Naples, and today we're decided to take a day trip to Pompeii. Are you excited, Sheila? I am. It is one. It is on the UNESCO Heritage, World Heritage Site, so it'll be good to go. And the train's only about half an hour, so it shouldn't take too long. And uh, we had no problems getting the ticket from the kiosk right outside the train station. I went down and we're just waiting for our train and we'll see how the journey continues. And at breakfast we learned how to say napkin. How do you say napkin, Marcus? I totally forgot. How do you say napkin? Bad. <laughs> Tavoyo. No. Tal you're gonna have to cut this. <laughs> There are several ways to visit Pompeii from Naples, including a tour bus, a regular bus, a private car, or a train like we did. The train cost us 6 euros and 60 cents per person round trip. There are regular buses that go from the train station to the archaeological site, but since it's only 1.2 miles, we just walk. It costs us 19 euros per person to visit the Pompeii site. The cost to visit Pompeii can vary depending on several factors, including your age, nationality, and whether you choose to explore the site independently or with a guided tour. Additionally, ticket prices may change over time. As a general guideline, standard ticket. The standard adult ticket for Pompeii typically ranged from 16 euros to 20 euros. Reduced rates were often available for EU citizens aged 18 to 24, while those under 18 and over 65 often had free or reduced admission. Guided Tours If you opt for a guided tour, prices can vary based on the type and duration of the tour. Guided tours may offer a more in-depth experience with insights from knowledgeable guides. Audio Guides some visitors prefer to explore independently with the aid of audio guides, which may incur an additional cost. It's important to check the official website or contact the ticket office at Pompeii for the most up-to-date information on ticket prices, as they may have changed since my last update. Additionally, consider whether you qualify for any discounts based on factors such as age, nationality, or special promotions that may be available at the time of your visit. Nestled near the Bay of Naples in Italy, Pompeii is an ancient city that once thrived as a bustling Roman metropolis. Its history, tragically cut short, is a captivating tale of life, culture, and the catastrophic forces of nature. Founded around the 6th century BC by the Oscans, Pompeii later fell under Roman rule in the 4th century BC. 
The city flourished, becoming a vital hub for trade, commerce, and culture. Its streets were lined with impressive villas, bustling markets, and grand amphitheaters. However, in 79 AD, Pompeii faced an unimaginable disaster. The nearby Mount Vesuvius erupted, blanketing the city in a thick layer of volcanic ash and pumice. This sudden catastrophe froze Pompeii in time, preserving its buildings, artifacts, and even the poignant outlines of its citizens. For centuries, Pompeii remained buried and forgotten until its accidental rediscovery in the 18th century. Excavations revealed a remarkably well-preserved snapshot of daily life in ancient Rome. The intricate frescoes, elaborate mosaics, and even the remnants of a vibrant street life all came to light, providing invaluable insights into the social and cultural fabric of the time. Today, Pompeii stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, offering visitors a haunting and immersive journey into the past. The ruins serve as a testament to the resilience of history, reminding us of the fragility of civilizations and the enduring impact of natural forces. Join us as we explore the captivating story of Pompeii, where the echoes of an ancient world still resonate through its cobbled streets and silent remnants. Areas of Pompeii Pompeii was a well-planned ancient Roman city, and its ruins are divided into various sections, each serving different purposes. Here are some of the key parts or areas of Pompeii. Forum, city center. The central public square of Pompeii, surrounded by important buildings, temples, and civic structures. Amphitheater, amphiteatro. A large arena for gladiatorial games, contests, and public spectacles. Theater district, teatro grande and teatro piccolo areas with large and small theaters for performances and entertainment temples various temples dedicated to different roman gods and goddesses such as the temple of apollo and the temple of jupiter basilica the basilica served as a public building for legal and commercial matters not to be confused with religious basilicas stabian baths one of the well-preserved public bath complexes in pompeii villa of the mysteries a well-known villa with exceptional frescoes, believed to depict a religious initiation. Houses Domus. Numerous residential houses with courtyards, frescoes, and intricate designs. Examples include the House of the Viti and the House of the Faun. Market Macellum. A marketplace where food and goods were bought and sold. Street of Abundance, via Della Bandanza. A main street lined with shops and businesses. Garden of the Fugitives a tragic area where plaster casts were made of the victims of the eruption, capturing their final moments. These are just a few examples, and Pompeii is a vast archaeological site with numerous structures and areas to explore, providing a glimpse into the daily life of an ancient Roman city. We could still do a good, entertaining musical show, I suppose, without it, but all those things are down to how you control them. In 1971, Pink Floyd filmed a live concert at the ancient Roman amphitheater in Pompeii without an audience. The film, titled Pink Floyd Live at Pompeii, features the band performing some of their iconic songs against the backdrop of the ancient ruins. The concert was unique in that it was not a traditional live performance with a live audience, but rather a cinematic and atmospheric experience. Well, we're in Pompeii. It's basically like going through an old village. It's been not 100% excavated. Uh, I think there's still about 30% or so. We're not sure exactly. You can see some areas that still need some additional work. But it's pretty fascinating to go through and see all the different parts of the village and what things were like back in the day. General advice. Visiting Pompeii is a unique and fascinating experience. Here are some pieces of advice to make the most of your trip. Plan ahead. Check the official website or contact local tourism authorities for the latest information on opening hours, ticket prices, and any special events. Consider visiting during the off-peak season to avoid crowds. Guided tours. Consider taking a guided tour. Knowledgeable guides can provide insights into the history and significance of the site, enhancing your overall experience. Comfortable clothing and footwear. Wear comfortable clothing and sturdy walking shoes, as you'll be exploring a large archaeological site with uneven surfaces. Sun protection. 
Pompeii can be quite sunny. Bring sunscreen, a hat, and sunglasses to protect yourself from the sun. Hydration. Carry a reusable water bottle to stay hydrated, especially if you're visiting during the warmer months. Map or guidebook. Bring a map or guidebook of Pompeii to help navigate the extensive site and locate key points of interest. Camera or smartphone. Capture memories by bringing a camera or smartphone. However, be mindful of any restrictions on photography in certain areas. Time management. Allocate enough time for your visit. Pompeii is a vast site, and exploring it thoroughly can take several hours. Visit the Antiquarium. Don't miss the Antiquarium, a museum on the site that displays artifacts and provides additional context about Pompeii. Learn about Pompeii beforehand. Familiarize yourself with the history of Pompeii before your visit. This background knowledge will make your exploration more meaningful. Consider Herculaneum. If time allows, consider visiting Herculaneum, another ancient Roman city preserved by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. Pompeii Museum. The Antiquarium of Pompeii serves as a museum within the archaeological site, dedicated to displaying and preserving artifacts and objects that have been excavated from the ancient city of Pompeii. After our visit, we walked back to the train station, ate a quick meal at the train station restaurant, and departed back to Naples. Okay, we're returning from Pompeii, going back to Naples. We had a great experience. A lot of time, a lot of time in the sun. It's worth the visit.